I love Biscoff. Biscoff is my crack. <laughs> Hi, guys. <laughs> so I wanted to make an update video because I've been meaning to, but <laughs> I just haven't really had the time to or um, I couldn't really properly collect my thoughts on what I wanted to say. And I still haven't properly collected my thoughts, but um, I figured to do one now, uh, especially since I have kind of like a little good break period where I can do it. <laughs> um, but I've been, I've been doing a lot of experimenting. Um, I've been, if you're on my TikTok, I've been doing TikTok shop item reviews. <laughs> um, I've actually been having loads of fun with them. I've been getting um, free samples from these companies and um, I've been able to help promote them and things like that. So um, if you want to go ahead and check those out, so I'll have the link below to my TikTok and um, well, link in the description <laughs> to my TikTok and you can go ahead and check out um, my TikTok shop, my TikTok shop videos. And I've been trying to get more comfortable with um, at least for those videos, not wearing any makeup for those just so that I'm, I'm a bit more personable and I'm, I'm a bit more uh, comfortable and more relaxed, <laughs> I guess. Uh, so I'm not constantly putting, you know, blasting my face with makeup and stuff. Um, but yeah, I've been having loads of fun with it and it's a nice change of pace as far as uh, content goes. I love gaming, but sometimes it's kind of fun too to just uh, do something different outside of your your niche, you know? <laughs> um, but aside from that, I know a lot of you are wondering um, game wise, you know, what I'm planning to be playing next, especially since I'm pretty much done with That's Not My Neighbor until um, until there's more updates and stuff with it. Uh, I know someone mentioned uh, something about how there's like a nightmare mode or hard mode for That's Not My Neighbor. I looked into it and it seems that that particular mode you have to mess around in the game files. There's not really any tutorials or any way on, on how to do it. Aside from that, the games that I'm currently playing now is uh, Princess Peach so Princess Peach Showtime and uh, Little Goody Two Shoes. So those are the two main games I'm currently playing. And the next set of games that I do have in queue are going to be trauma center which i'm really excited for and i haven't forgotten about life is strange so i figured out a tactic for life is strange finally <laughs> um funny enough um i figured this out while uh doing my anime my anime reacts and i do have an update on that as well but um for life is strange that is going to be the next game 100% for sure. I'm still going to play it. No worries. <laughs> I haven't forgotten about it. Like, trust me, I'm beating myself up for not getting to it fast enough. But Princess Peach rolled around and I'm like, damn, <laughs> I really want to play it. And I really want to start playing games as soon as they come out. Um, just so that uh, I can keep up, you know, with other content creators that uh, hop on these games. So um, but P Peach seems like it's going to be a pretty short game, but if I have time, I may squeeze in Life is Strange. Um, so some days I may ha have two video uploads, some day some weeks I may have three video uploads, just depends on how my schedule is for that week and how comfortable I am, um, doing a full recording session like that, um. But to add on with anime reacts, I wanted to do solo leveling. Like I really wanted to do it and keep up with it. But the issue is that um, when it comes to anime, the streaming services, because I I do have um, a streaming service I'm subscribed to to watch the anime. But the problem is um, the I think it's I think the US government or something they're like cracking down on illegal streamed services and things like that especially um particularly pertaining to anime so I don't want to be I guess caught I guess in the crossfire because technically I am showing you guys the content like without consent <laughs> if that makes sense of like the 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 um studios so 
I don't want to get hit with, you know, copyright infringement and things like that, even though I do have like everything blurred, like as blurred and um, dimmed out as possible. So I don't get hit with a lot of um, strikes and things like that. But I think I'm just going to play it safe and scrap the idea of anime reacts because I just don't want to put my channel under fire <laughs> so if you if you're wondering if i'm ever gonna finish the solo leveling probably not um what i may actually do though i may actually uh do a patreon where um i do exclusively anime reacts there so um i'll probably have it stupid cheap too <laughs> i'll probably maybe like for the more like fun animes i'll probably do like maybe like a dollar tier and then maybe a five dollar tier for like the more uh not so safe for work animes <laughs> i'll put it at that um so things like that or um you know depending i guess what tier it is um i may go more into the nsfw content aspect of things uh because i do want to do like there's there's like a lot of things i do want to react because you know like my friends and stuff send me send me clips and videos and things like that and um i've always wanted to uh you know record my live reactions to things like that and granted some click some clips are inappropriate to put on youtube um so I, I would feel like patreon would be like the safest place to have more of an adult audience to do um more 18 up risque content you know like reaction to those kind of contents you know um so uh if you have anything in mind as far as like reaction stuff like um I'm really heavily into uh, ASMR audios, so <laughs> I wouldn't mind doing reactions and stuff to that either. If you guys have any audios that you want me to react to, um, any specific animes that you want me to watch to react to, like things like that. As long as the anime is not like, like don't send me an anime that's like 250 plus episodes. I, I'm not going to record that. <laughs> but if it's like a short and sweet anime, like 24 episodes, 16, like I'll do those. Huh, easy, I'll do those. <laughs> but um, aside from that, um, I think that's the course of action that I'll probably do um, is set up, set up a Patreon for, for, for those kind of extra side content. And on the plus side, you know, you guys can help support me that way too. Um, especially like if you're more into Patreon versus YouTube. So that's something um, I want to eventually set up in the future. <laughs> um, aside from that, um, I just wanted to say thank you to the newcomers that uh, have come in recently. <laughs> Hope you are enjoying your stay here and welcome, welcome. Um, just for a briefing, I upload every week. So every Saturday I, I upload a new episode. So I know it's hard for the content drought during the week, <laughs> but every so often I'll like drop um, something in the middle of the week especially like if i'm having a really good e editing week like i'm talking about like work was work was perfect um i didn't have much things to do and then um i was able to finish finish an episode quickly so i'm able to upload it like sooner <laughs> you know like when that happens yeah i i upload which rarely happens but i'll upload midweek but um i upload every Saturday for sure. So unless I say something, there is going to be a guaranteed upload every Saturday. Um, but definitely keep an eye out on the YouTube community section, which I believe on mobile, I don't think you can access it on mobile as easy, but on browser you can. But I always uh, post in there if I have like any sort of update or or anything uh, in particular. Um, but I, I am starting to post videos whenever I can't do an upload or something to update you guys because I know not everybody can read that section <laughs> or they don't just or they just don't want to be in that section <laughs> and also if you're wondering how you can support me in any way i do have a members uh section on my channel so you can uh, subscribe to be a member it's very cheap because i really don't have anything to offer other than emotes but it's just it's just a basic way to support me um and i appreciate all of all of the new members that we've had 
added on recently and um yeah just thank you so much <laughs> like recently the beginning of the year i was just kind of in like a little uh just slump i guess but um things have starting to get a little better things are starting to brighten up for me um and yeah <laughs> Uh, but I will say that um, I do have something interesting. I'm not going to say it because I feel like if I say it, I'm going to sabotage myself by knowing me. But um, I have something really, really cool to um, show to show you guys. And it's it's something that is going to take a lot out of me. It's definitely going to be a different kind of content and it is going to be literally life-changing so <laughs> i'm really i'm both scared and excited for for what's to come for it um but you can expect something like that to come out within maybe then maybe within two months i don't know we'll see it may never come out you never <laughs> you know you never know i may like I croak out midway and scrap it <laughs> but it's something that I want to challenge myself on um, and I'll keep it at that <laughs> um, also I am going to soon um, if my father cooperates because I'm waiting for my father to feel comfortable enough to do so um, I am going to do an interview of my father so I uh, I got these awesome uh, cards from the TikTok shop and it's essentially um these like flashcards where you can ask your elder your elderly grandparents or if you have an el an elderly parent like myself because my father he's 93 <laughs> so if you have um an elderly loved one and you want to know their story you know like learn learn more about them and stuff these flashcards are amazing and um i i am going to interview interview my father using those flashcards so i guess you can say i'll be doing like a interview slash biography of him so like i have something of him especially um when his time comes because he is 93 you know like growing up as a kid i've always had to kind of know that i have to prepare myself in case my father passes away you know because he's he's elderly you know so um i i've kind of like had to uh prepare myself especially like eat like like in middle school uh that's when i kind of had that realization like you know yeah like i'm not like <laughs> any of the other kids whose parents are you know like in their 40s 30s 50s you know no my dad he's He's 90, you know, he's 93. So I, I'm definitely blessed to still have him alive um, and well. And he still has his cognitive his cognitive functions and everything. Like he he is in tip top shape. <laughs> um, but for sure, um, I am going to record his story. I really want to know his story. And I, I, want, I want to be able to share his story with everybody because I feel like, especially someone like him, born in 1930 like his story i'm sure like his experiences and stuff is vastly different than when i grew up and then of course you know when you guys grew up and stuff like that so i'm really excited to do that um that's another form of content i'm working on i just need cooperation from papa <laughs> uh but aside from that um i'm doing well um i'm taking better care of my health recently and uh, I enjoyed my birthday a lot. So I know a lot of people were asking what I did for my birthday and just, you know, like a story of my birthday day and things like that. But I didn't really do much on my birthday. Um, <laughs> uh, the day before my birthday, I wanted to um, have a cheat day and eat out uh, to get some gyro. But <laughs> what happened was on the way to getting some ice cream, actually, because we were going to get some ice cream because I had a buy one, get one um, from Cold Stone. And we were going to Cold Stone and there was this big festival. And I'm talking about there were tents and booths and stuff. And it was a Hispanic um, themed festival or I guess you can say like booth 
festival thing because um there were just like lots of booths of like food clothing jewelry like it was actually really cool um but there were people from venezuela um dominicana you know like it was just everywhere <laughs> everywhere puerto rico um yeah like it was just like literally every spanish country <laughs> that was there you know um and it was it was actually a lot of fun the food was amazing um i ended up canceling getting the gyro and we got these um picanha brisket uh burgers it was really good <laughs> those burgers were amazing um and i got this this uh venezuelan drink it because at first i thought i thought it was or um or horchata but it wasn't horchata <laughs> it was more of like a thicker consistency the only like thing i could think of like that's close to it um because i know like there's condensed milk in it with some cinnamon and stuff like that but i forgot the name of the drink but it's very it's like a very um thick drink but it, it was delicious it was very sweet delicious i loved it i think it was like condensed milk rice mixed with it like think of a thick or a thick orchata um but just with more flavor packed into it <laughs> that's that's as best as i could think of it um but it was very delicious very good and uh we got these uh these smoothies i got a passion fruit smoothie and for eight dollars i got this big bottle like it was like i'm not even exaggerating like i got this container it was like this tall and it was like it was fat it was like this wide it, it, it was huge <laughs> um and i i got that and i saw that they had a biscoff um a biscoff uh shake thing so i was like oh i'll get a biscoff shake thing because i love biscoff biscoff is my crack <laughs> like i love anything biscoff and it was the same size as a smoothie like the diabetes <laughs> was beating in my body when i saw that i was like are you serious and they loaded it like they mixed they mixed the the biscoff blended it with whatever like milk ice all that stuff and then they topped it with frost with um with a uh, whipped cream and then they topped it off with biscoff crackers chocolate covered strawberries and a little cupcake on top like they they top loaded that a lot <laughs> with stuff and it was amazing it tasted so good like it, it, it was amazing <laughs> like i ended up buying a lot from there because <laughs> because i got stuff from my mom and i got stuff from my mother-in-law too and um yeah like i i bought a lot of things um and then then we finally went to cold stone to get the ice cream um and come the next day i i ended up sleeping in like i was knocked out until the afternoon <laughs> i guess i was really tired but i was knocked out um but the next day comes and we just went out to eat to morimoto asia which is in disney springs and um morimoto asia is pretty much a japanese styled restaurant and it's very very good it's very amazing <laughs> um i've been there a couple times so like i already knew like what i was gonna order and stuff like that and the food was delicious i had some uh, close friends with me there to uh enjoy the food with and everything and yeah i had i had a lot of fun we had some laughters i got some gifts <laughs> um in particular mars got me a uh chandelure themed birthday cake which was really cute <laughs> it had um litwick toppers and it had he had like a a topper centerpiece with my name on it and with the evolutions and stuff with my favorite pokeballs too which is awesome <laughs> um and then uh, a friend of mine uh made me i can actually show you give me a second and then a friend of mine made me mm this awesome pokeball as well <laughs> he 3d printed it and he painted it and stuff which is really cool and it also opens up and opening up let me put this back here it opens up which is really cool it's very nice inside and it has this uh the chandelure line um evolutions which is really cool i, I love the pins <laughs> but it's a very cool um gift i love it a lot 
um but yeah but i, I am a ghost type of person <laughs> when it comes to pokemon so i love i love um I, I love Chandelure, Litwick, uh, Lampent. I love Pumpkaboo and Gorgeist. Um, what else? <laughs> I just love ghost Pokemon. I love them. <laughs> um, but I was going to say, um, but yeah, but that day was like a lot of fun. Uh, and yeah, and then I just went back home, went to sleep. And yeah, that was pretty much it. Um, I know on, oh, on my birthday day, because that was on Sunday. Yeah, Sunday the 24th. So on Monday the 25th, because um, Sunday, that's when I spent time with friends. Monday, on my actual birthday day, March 25th, um, my mom, because I remember I told her that I wanted to have um, oxtail, because that is my favorite dish that she makes. <laughs> oxtail with white rice and suspoa. Um, now, suspoa is uh, a Haitian... Um, you can think of like a Haitian like bean curry stew kind of thing. Um, if you know what bichuela is, it, it's pretty much the same as bichuela, but without the potatoes. And instead of the, the red kidney beans, it's with black beans. You can make it, I think, with with um, not kidney beans, but I think you can make it with the with brown beans as well, too. The like light brown beans, um, salspa with light brown beans, but um but i told her no i want the black bean suspoa with oxtail and white rice and she looked at me she was like that is the most haitian thing i've heard come out of your mouth ever <laughs> but i just had her craving for it i don't know like i, I just had this craving hit and i'm like th those are the flavors i want and she made it and the entire house was like that was the best oxtail your mother has made in a long time and i'm like good and she was like yeah no like Everything works. And I'm like, see, I told you the oxtail and the rice with the suspoa, the flavors are going to work because she was looking at me like I was crazy <laughs> for the whole flavor combination. And, and I'm like, no, trust me, <laughs> trust in my taste bud cravings. This is going to be delicious. And when she made everything and she had everything together, she was like, oh, this is good. I'm like, I, i'm sure and then i had it and i'm like yes it's good <laughs> it's amazing i actually still have some oxtail i actually froze some because that entire birthday week that's all i had was oxtail <laughs> she made a lot um i yeah i think i had oxtail for like five days straight and then i'm like all right i need to put this shit in the freezer before like it goes bad so um i have like i think two more two more servings in the freezer <laughs> that i can eat um but yeah that it, it was just it was so good like it was literally just heaven in my mouth <laughs> uh but that's what i did for my birthday and that is pretty much it as far as like story time goes for that <laughs> um but yeah but i just wanted to give you guys a little update on what's on my mind and things like that my website i know hasn't been updated in forever either but i just been like so busy um but oh and i almost forgot oh my god i almost forgot this is like the biggest announcement um <laughs> so uh if you made it this far great because <laughs> this is the most important part um i am going to take the time and this this is going to be a bit this will take me a bit but i am going to prioritize obviously the newer videos down to the older ones but all of my videos every single video that i have uploaded will get this treatment i have figured out a way to add on subtitles i finally learned how to do it to add on subtitles to my videos so this video should have subtitles in your language by the way i am going to take the time to add on subtitles to every single episode that i have uploaded every single video that i have uploaded on my channel i am going to add in the most popular um i, I guess language based on my metrics and analytics so that is going to be i believe uh spanish french german uh czech polish 
there's other ones. <laughs> what was the other ones? I can't, I can't even remember. Anyways, there's a lot, <laughs> but I'm going to be adding those onto my channel. Um, but I finally learned how to do it. Now the subtitles won't be perfect. Unfortunately, as much as I would like to fine tune, cause even the, in the English subtitles, um, when it picks up what I say, some of the words aren't completely accurate, but for me, I feel like it's better than not having any subtitles so at least you can have an idea of what i'm talking about um i wish i could go through every single one of those videos and really manually tweak the english script but my videos are long of course and that's going to take a lot of time so and i want to be able to provide the subtitles to you guys as quick as possible so i'd rather there be some sort of understanding with the subtitles rather than no subtitles um so yeah i'm gonna have a lot of subtitles uh, or a lot of subtitles in different languages and yeah i'm really excited to be able to provide that for you guys because i know a lot of you have always expressed like i love watching your content but i don't speak english and it kind of hurts me because i know that i can add in subtitles i just couldn't figure out exactly how to do it. Um, and I finally was able to learn how to do it, <laughs> finally. So um, I'm really excited for that. And yeah, <laughs> but if you have made it this far, um, I kind of want to do something fun. So just to see who makes it to the end of this video. So if you've made it this far, um, comment down below. I can't believe it. <laughs> that way, people that haven't made it here are going to be confused. And then also, they are going to be inclined to watch this entirety of the video. <laughs> and also, I'll know who actually um, actually made it to the end. <laughs> but yes, uh, comment down below. I can't believe it if you've made it this far. <laughs> but that is pretty much it for updates from me. Um, I kind of went like all over the place, <laughs> but like I said, like I just couldn't collect my thoughts properly, but um, that's what's going on with me. Um, and yeah, <laughs> I hope this gave you some clarity of what to expect in, in the future. And um, yeah, I can't wait to post out more update videos for you guys because I do want this to be a, a consistent thing because uh, I feel like it's a way for me to just step away from the whole gaming um, episodic aspect of myself and I can be more personal with you guys. So, um, and I, I, I do want to be more, more personal <laughs> with you guys. Uh, so yeah. <laughs> Anyways, hope you have an awesome day and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.